Hello, hello, Crafty Man is here, and welcome back to another episode on the Diamond Society server. So I've been a little busy off camera dealing with those lovely villagers that we got in the last episode. So let's go ahead and go find out what I have done with them. So we, you know, this was in place. I still need to add in like the coral, you know, and, and all of that. But we will get to that in just a moment. But yeah, so now we have a stairway down here. I still need to add in decorations and stuff up on the top. So it doesn't, it doesn't quite blend in so well together. <laughs> it's like you can barely tell that there's actually a set of stairs there. So we come down here. We got a nice little walkway. So the water, so the story basically is, is that, you know, with them being underwater and stuff, the water comes in and they need to be able to bring it somewhere. So they've got all these different channels that bring water and they're all going to come down here. And I'm actually going to be doing something at the end of this hallway as like a water storage area. But this, this is a very noisy area because we've got cats. I've turned into a cat lady because, yeah, <laughs> as, they, as I was breeding these guys, you know, breeding the villagers up, cats were spawning. And so now I have these three here. I think I have the, the one which was near me and then two that I had actually brought over from the iron farm. So, yeah, but this, the, the basic layout of this is actually from Cortez Arino. I um, mean, I'll link his tutorial down in the description, but all the, you know, all the actual decoration and stuff, this is, you know, these are mine. Uh, but yeah, so I've got pretty much every single enchantment that I need other than protection. But if I come down here to the diamond armor guy, I do have a protection to chest plate, so I don't necessarily have to worry about that too much. So, yeah, so this is the nice villager area. Um, and then these guys are the ones that, you know, have been doing the breeding and all of that. But they're kind of, yeah, they're extra villagers right now. <laughs> so we'll, um, you know, I'll figure out what to do with them. You know, I might end up setting up some some trading posts at the end here since we really don't need to be trading you know breeding any more up so we'll we'll see um but i wanted to show you guys what i did down here as you know as this was one of the one of the big projects that i was working on off camera still lots and lots of work to do and then the next project that i was working on is actually away from my base so i'm going to head over there and then i'll see you there Okay, so this is the other uh, big project that I was working on. Um, it's a little leaky, but it protects the redstone, so that that's really all that matters. So this, this is actually a coral fan farm, which was um, created, or, well, designed by Il Mango. So let's see. Yeah, we want silk touch, and then basically you just get in here, and you just whack away. Um, I'm not, I'm not... 100% happy with this because yeah like you got the stuff growing on the top or on the back there and you can't really reach it so I might actually shorten the farm a little bit but let's go ahead and hop out of here and go ahead and collect all this stuff let's okay <laughs> I was gonna say did I did I grab it but yeah and then of course you know you have seagrass and stuff that grows in here but you need silk touch in order for it to work and so you don't actually pick up any of the actual seagrass but as you can see I mean we got already that many just from you know that little the little section you know session that we just did but yeah so definitely you know definitely like the the farm is getting me the fans that you know that I need in order to make more coral because I really don't want to destroy the coral reef so and that is definitely going to help out a lot so if you can't tell what this is this is actually a submersible so if we come out here I can show you guys, but yeah, so I've got, I made, I made a little submersible. So it's got, you know, little claws on the front for collecting, um, collecting coral samples and, and all of that. And then we've got little, little pods for them to be able to store said coral. And then back here, we got a little propeller and then a fin to help cut through, you know, cut through the water. Yeah. So definitely really happy with the way this ended up turning out. And then if we come down here, this is all nice and lit up, so you don't have to worry about um, anything really spawning or anything that like that underneath. 
So best bet is to go through the bottom because if you go through the top, then you actually end up flooding the, um, you flood the submersible. Um, cause as soon as you open up one of these trap doors, the water ends up coming in, but that is our right. Um, you know, cause it, any, any of the water will, well, I mean, I guess we could end up with some water here, which could wipe those out. So, um, DS members, <laughs> if you come through, try to come through the bottom, not the top. Because I forgot that, you know, the trap doors ended up coming a little bit this for, you know, further this way, which will end up taking out the rails. But that is okay. But yeah, so that is the coral farm that I mean. So and now we can actually get to work in terms of, you know, working on the actual aquarium. Um, so, but those are not going to be the projects I want to work on camera with you guys. I just wanted to show you guys what was, you know, what I had, you know, what I had done off camera. But today we are going to be working on the um, the cistern where all of the water is going to end up being stored. So I'm going to go gather some supplies, some supplies, and we'll get to work. So I've already extended the hallway into where we are going to be building the cistern, and I've already gotten the first arch in place. And I'm kind of taking inspiration from the El Jadida cistern, um, and so. Oh, um, so yeah, so I figured that we could go ahead and build one of these on camera. So let's go ahead and get these on here so I can actually reach them from up here. Maybe. Um, uh, there we go. <laughs> like, I might be able to reach it. Um, well, okay, well, that didn't exactly work. All right, now we know reach limit. There we go. Okay, so it's basically we've got the chiseled stone on the bottom and then three of the bricks and then the chiseled stone again, and then two bricks like that, so you could then place stairs. Oh, okay, we might have a problem with angles. So let's do that. I am definitely loving <laughs> the, um, the scaffolding. It is definitely making life a lot easier. So just like that, and then build up the corners like so oh and I almost forgot you want to put torches on there so we don't have stuff spawning inside so I forgot the there okay and then you bring it in like so and then can I oh, nope okay there we go gotta fall in order to do it Whoop. Um. there we go Okay, so then what we want to do is go ahead and bring stairs out on this level here. Oop, no, not like that. Gonna have a whole bunch of blocks just floating around on the bottom. All right, and then if we can come up here, and then what we want to do is go ahead and bring these in like so, like that, there. And it's basically just bringing it through like that. And then here we can use the roof as our helper, basically. And then what will happen is that we'll end up with this section right here. And we'll want to go ahead and knock that out. Put the bricks around there. And then sea lantern and the iron trap door. And then oh, if I can um, I need to find the center, there we go. And we can just break that. And there we go. There is a, another one of them done. So now I just need to do seven more of them and we will be done. All right. We now have all of the domes in. So this right here, this is the cistern. So, and then with cisterns, they're, they're supposed to have waterproof. They're basically supposed to be waterproof. That way they retain the water. So I kind of like the idea of having the stone on the outside. Um, however, yeah, I think, I really think that it does need some more detail. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to add into this, but, um, but yeah, we at least have all of the, all of the domes in. And then we also have this area over here. Again, I don't know if I like having the two entrances in here. I might redirect this because I wanted to be able to have another area to actually come down. And so we've got that one, which goes up to the top. 
and then this one allows us to go down into the cistern um, instead of having to travel all the way around the slime farm in order to get down into you know where the villagers are now I could end up uh, bringing this and redirecting it into the back of where the villagers are because we do have this hallway back here that we could end up using in fact we could even move these guys since uh, since I'm done pretty much done creating villagers and put them in like a holding cell or something and then bring it bring it in here and turn this into an actual like proper entrance so we'll definitely we'll definitely have to see how that how that plays out and I'm still wondering why I have dripping water but I think it's because it's a waterlogged block, you know, above those. But it kind of adds to the ambiance because, you know, we've got all the water being redirected into our cistern over here. So we don't, <laughs> yeah, dripping water is definitely something that, you know, kind of is going to happen when you, when you end up building underwater and all that. So let's go ahead and come up here because I want to get let you guys know what we are going to be working on in the next episode. So in the next episode, we are actually going to be returning to the outside water. Um, definitely been putting it off the, um, the outside for a little bit too long. So if we come out here, so we've already got, we've got this in because, you know, for one, we really, we really need to get to the second ring. That way I can actually create a home for our horses. Um, though I guess we could, we might be able to put them, you know, something here on the first ring though this is supposed to be mostly like um kind of like not necessarily farmland but the more nature stuff <laughs> i don't know exactly what to call it but yeah so in the next episode we are going to be coming back out here we need to build the next wall so that we can get to work on the ring but yeah so the next wall and then the bridges those are going to be the projects for next episode so we've got four bridges that we need to make. I'm going to be doing them in the four cardinal points. And definitely really excited about those. I've already got a design all made up for them. So it's just a matter of actually putting them in. Which should be, you know, it should be interesting. So I'll actually build those on camera for you guys. So you can kind of see, you know, see how I built them. But yeah, so I know this is a little bit shorter of an episode. But um. Yeah, um, everything that I had planned for this episode was a little bit, um, <laughs> took a little bit less time. Oh, and I do now have sheepers. So we now have a source of wool as well. And it is definitely just me working around on the cistern. They've, they've definitely been chucking out the wool. So that's, that has definitely been fantastic. So now, you know, now I don't have to worry about that. And then I still need to replace that. Do I have... I do, but I don't think I have. Nope, I don't have any wool. Yeah, because we got to cover this up with wool because of the slime chunk. So far, I haven't had any more slime spawn, even though this area right here is technically a in you know in a slime chunk. So definitely excited about that. They've all been staying in this lovely area with the golem. So yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, even though it is a little bit shorter of a uh, you know of one. But if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.